Warren Mitchell. Warren Mitchell, born Warren Mitchell, January 14, 1926, November 14, 2015, was an English actor. He was a BAFTA TV Award winner and twice a Laurence Olivier Award winner. In the 1950s, Mitchell appeared on the radio programs Educating Archie and Hancock's Half Hour. He also performed minor roles in several movies. In the 1960s, he rose to prominence in the role of bigoted Cockney Alf Garnet in the BBC television sitcom Till Death Us Do Part, 1965-75, created by Johnny Spate, which won him a Best TV Actor BAFTA in 1967. He reprised the role in the TV sequels Till Death, ATV, 1981, and In Sickness and in Health, BBC, 1985-92, and in the films Till Death Us Do Part, 1969, and the Alf Garnet Saga. 1972. His other film appearances include Three Crooked Men, 1958, Carry On Cleo, 1964, The Spy Who Came In From the Cold, 1965, The Assassination Bureau, 1969, and Norman Loves Rose, 1982. He held both British and Australian citizenship and enjoyed considerable success in stage performances in both countries, winning Olivier Awards in 1979 for Death of a Salesman and in 2004 for The Price. Mitchell was born in Stoke Newington, London. His father was a glass and china merchant. His family were Russian Jews, originally surnamed Mizzel, and Hay described himself in an interview as an atheist, but also stated that he enjoyed being Jewish. He was interested in acting from an early age and attended Gladys Gordon's Academy of Dramatic Arts in Walthamstow from the age of seven. He did well at Southgate County School, now Southgate School, a state grammar school at Palmer's Green. Middlesex. He then studied physical chemistry at University College, Oxford, for six months. There he met his contemporary, Richard Burton, and together they joined the Royal Air Force in 1944. He completed his navigator training in Canada just as the Second World War ended. Richard Burton's description of the acting profession had convinced him that it would be better than completing his chemistry degree, and so Mitchell attended Rada for two years, performing in the evening with London's Unity Theatre. After a short stint as a DJ on Radio Luxembourg, in 1951, Mitchell became a versatile professional actor with straight and comedy roles on stage, radio, film and television. His first broadcast was as a regular on the radio show Educating Archie, and this led to appearances in both the radio and television versions of Hancock's Half Hour. By the late 50s, he regularly appeared on television, as Sean Connery's trainer in boxing drama Requiem for a Heavyweight, 1957 with Charlie Drake in the sitcom Drake's Progress, BBC, 1957, and a title role in Three Tough Guys, ITV, 1957, in which he played a bungling criminal. He also appeared in several episodes of Armchair Theatre. During the first of these, Underground, 1958, one of the lead actors died during the live performance. He also had roles in the Avengers in addition to many ITC drama series including, William Tell, The Four Just Men. Sir Francis Drake, Danger Man and as a recurrent guest in The Saint. His cinema debut was in Guy Hamilton's Manuela, 1957, and he began a career of minor roles as sinister foreign agents, assisted by his premature baldness and facility with Eastern European accents. He appeared in The Roman Spring of Mrs. Stone, 1961, The Hammer Horror The Curse of the Werewolf, 1961, Carry On Cleo, 1964, Where Has Poor Mickey Gone? Jerry Levy, 1964, and Help. Richard Lester, 1965, and played leads in All the Way Up, James McTaggart, 1970, The Chain, Jack Gold, 1984, The Denera Boys, Ben Lewin, 1985, and Foreign Body, Ronald Niam, 1986. In 1965, Mitchell was cast in the role for which he became best known, as the conservative voting, bigoted Cockney West Ham United supporter Alf Garnet in a play for the BBC comedy Playhouse series, broadcast on July 22, 1965. This was the pilot edition of the long-running series Till Death Us Do Part, with Gretchen Franklin, Eunice Dubbs, and Anthony Booth. The part of Mum, played by Franklin, was recast with Dandy Nichols in the role in the program who was commissioned as a series. Mitchell's real-life persona was different from Alf Garnet, being Jewish, Labour voting and a staunch supporter of Tottenham Hotspur. The show ran from 1966 to 1975, in seven series, making a total of 53 30-minute episodes. 
While this series aimed to satirize racism, it actually also gained the support of many bigoted racists who perceived ALF as the voice of reason. Mitchell had a long and distinguished career on stage and television. Other small screen roles included a 13-episode series, Men of Affairs with Brian Ricks, ITV, 1973-74, based on the West End hit farce Don't Just Lie There, Say Something. There were also performances in 1975 in Play for Today, showing Thaith could play a serious character role in the episode, Moss, as William Wardell, a crooked accountant in the Sweeney episode Big Spender, Thames Television for ITV, 1978, Lovejoy, BBC, Waking the Dead, BBC, Cabinet QC, Central Television for ITV, he played a concentration camp survivor in the episode Ancient History, as Shylock and the Merchant of Venice, BBC, 1980, and Gorman Gost, BBC, 2000. In 2001, he appeared in a Christmas special episode of Last of the Summer Wine, Pots and Pole Position. He was a subject of the television program This Is Your Life in 1972 when he was surprised by Eamon Andrews. On stage he received extensive critical acclaim for his performances as Willie Loman in Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman at the National Theatre directed by Michael Rudman, 1979, being originally cast in the role by Stephen Barry at the Playhouse in Perth, Australia, Harold Pinter's The Caretaker at the National Theatre, Pinter's The Homecoming at London's Comedy Theatre, 1991 and Miller's The Price at the Apollo Theater in 2003. Mitchell reprised the role of Alf Garnet in the film Still Death Us Do Part, 1969, and the Alf Garnet Saga, 1972, in the ATV series Till Death, 1981, and in the BBC series In Sickness and in Health, 1985-92. He also reprised his role as Alf Garnet in 1983 in the television series The Main Attraction where comedians recreated their famous acts from their past in front of a live and television audience, similar to an audience with. That began in 1976. In 1997 he played the role in an audience with Alf Garnet. The same year, ITV aired a series of mini-episodes called A Word with Alf, featuring Alf and his friends. All the TV shows and both films were written by Johnny Spate. When Spate died in 1998, the character of Alf Garnet was retired at Mitchell's request. In 2008, at the age of 82, Mitchell was performing alongside Ross Gardner at the Trafalgar Studios, in London's West End, as a retired dry cleaner in Jeff Barron's portrait of Jewish American life visiting Mr. Green. In 1976, his one-man show The Thoughts of Chairman Alf won the Evening Standard Theatre Award for Best Comedy in London's West End out in 1982, he received an Australian Film Institute Award for Best Supporting Actor in the film Norman Loves Rose. He received two Laurence Olivier Theatre Awards, for playing Willie Loman in Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, National Theatre, 1979, and as Best Supporting Actor in a 2003 performance of The Price, also by Miller. His role in Death of a Salesman also won him an Evening Standard Theatre Award and was highly praised by Peter Hall. Miller reportedly described Mitchell's performance as one of the best interpretations of the part he had ever seen. Mitchell was a patron of the British Humanist Association. In 1951 he married Constance M. Wake, an actress who appeared in early 1960s television drama such as May Gray. They had three children. For over 20 years, Mitchell suffered pain from nerve damage caused by transverse myelitis, and was a supporter of the Neuropathy Trust. He suffered a mild stroke in August 2004. He was back on stage a week later, reprising his lauded role as a cantankerous old Jew in Arthur Miller's The Price. Mitchell died in Highgate, London, on November 14, 2015 after a long illness, two months before his 90th birthday. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.